G'day, my name is Russ Wheatley from Max Design. Here's a quick demonstration of the empty pseudo class. Now this demonstration is taken from my upcoming course called CSS Selectors, targeting HTML like a pro. The empty pseudo class selector is written using an element followed by colon followed by empty. And the syntax is E colon empty. An example might be P colon empty. How does it work? Well, the empty pseudo class selector targets elements that have no children. Now, it's important that this includes no element, no text node, or even things like character spaces. In the following example, only the empty P element would be selected. The P that doesn't have any content but does have a character space is not selected as it's not considered empty. So here's our selector P colon empty. It's looking for any P element that is literally empty. Our first P has content, our second P has nothing, our third P has content, and our fourth P has a space inside. So only the second P is considered empty and would be selected. The empty pseudo class selector is not supported by IE6, 7, or 8. Let's look at the empty pseudo class in action. Let's open up our start folder and then lesson 04, and we're looking for 12 dash empty. And you can see we're linking off to styles.css for our general page styling, but we'll be working inside the style element under this comment. And you can see we have a bunch of paragraph elements. Now the important thing here is this paragraph definitely has some content inside. This paragraph actually has some content, which is just a space character. And this paragraph has nothing inside at all, so it's an empty paragraph. And that's important when we actually use our selector. P colon empty and then border 1px solid red. Let's go and have a look. And as you can see, I've already put a green border around every paragraph, but now you'll see that just the empty paragraph, the one without any content or even any spaces, has been selected.